we have to change consciousness. We have to move from a geopolitical, ideological frame to biosphere consciousness in order to have the narrative and the vision and the determination and the will and the drive to move ahead instead of through fear backing up to the 20th century. We have enough distributed energy to provide for our species until kingdom comes. The European Union has committed itself to a five-pillar infrastructure for a third industrial revolution. I was privileged to develop the plan with the EU. It was formally endorsed by the Parliament in 2007. Pillar one, the European Union's committed to, as you know, 20% renewable energy by 2020. That means a third of the electricity in Europe has to be green. That's a mandate, not a suggestion. Everyone has to do it. Pillar two, to convert every single existing building into your own green micro power plant. So you can get photovoltaics and capture the sun on your roof, vertical wind to capture the wind off the sidewalls of your building, geothermal heat pumps under the ground, garbage converted back to energy, the works. Think centralized power and utility companies today, think the next 20 years, everyone's gonna have their own power plant. Just like we produce information, we now produce our own energy. And there are already millions of people doing it. And the minute we start pillar one and two, we have millions of jobs overnight. In Germany, they've created hundreds of thousands of jobs just in the first few years, only in pillar one. And now pillar two, they're creating more. Then the question is, how do we store the energy? Pillar three, because the sun isn't always shining here in London, as we know. But we're putting most of our emphasis at the center of the storage network in hydrogen. Simply, it's the basic element of the universe. It's what we're made out of. It carries other energies. And it's completely transformable from one form to another on carrying energy. And it's modular, so you can put a little hydrogen storage technology in your flat or in a big utility company. Pillar four, this is where the nervous system of this new infrastructure is created, where the communication revolution, the internet, merges with distributed energies. We take off-the-shelf internet technology, off-the-shelf. We take the transmission and power grid of the European Union, and then every continent in the world, and we transform that power grid to an energy internet that acts exactly like the internet. So when millions of buildings are collecting green energy on site, storing it in hydrogen, like we store media in digital, and then if you don't need some of that and someone else somewhere else needs it, your software can program it so you send that energy across that energy internet from the Irish Sea to the doorsteps of Russia. Pillar five, transport. Electric vehicles came out this year. Hydrogen fuel cell cars, buses, and trucks in mass production in 2014. Daimler, GM, Toyota, it's already in production now. We'll be able to plug in our electric and fuel cell vehicles anywhere in the infrastructure and get green electricity from our buildings. Then wherever we travel, we can stop, connect back into the grid and get electricity. Or let's say you're at home study and your car's sitting out there. Program the software on the computer and if the electricity goes up on the grid, it'll click on your computer and you'll sell your electricity back to everybody else. You make money while you're doing nothing. It's the synergies between the five pillars that create the infrastructure, the nervous system for a new paradigm. We've democratized the ability to share information at almost zero transaction cost around the world. That's dramatic. But it's only part one of the story. Part two is when that internet technology democratizes energy and makes it so cheap that we can share it collaboratively across continents like we share information online. Then we have a revolution. There are future generations of human beings and creatures not yet here. They deserve their moment in a flourishing planet. Our job is to make sure that they have that moment in the sun.